cloning with PBR322 how we can clone foreign DNA by using this uh, vector molecule as I told you that plasmid if we are going to use them as a cloning vector it must have certain desirable properties so if we look at PBR322 तो इसमें ज्यादातर जो प्रॉपर्टीज हैं वो पाई जाती हैं लाइक like, कि इसका जो मॉलेक्युलर वेट है वो कम है इफ इट्स मॉलेक्युलर वेट इज लो दैट इज अराउंड 4361 बेस पेयर्स तो मोस्टली इट इज प्रेजेंट इन हाई कॉपी नंबर सो कॉपी नंबर में भी uh, 20 to 30 per cell and if we treat the recipient cells that contain PBR322 with chloromphenicol as we discussed that the copy number due to inhibition of protein synthesis it can be further enhanced like it may be 1000 to 3000 copies per cell so that the cloned gene it can be overexpressed because we can have number of cloned fragments of our desired gene that may represent up to 40 to 50 percent of the nucleic acid of the cell after treatment with chloromphenicol another desirable property is that during isolation mostly this plasmid it is present in supercoiled form so its isolation it is relatively easy and moreover the DNA fragments that is having the length of 10 kilo base they can be cloned by using PBR322 another advantage is that the whole sequence of PBR322 it is known so we have the idea that how many type of restriction sites are present and what are their locations and moreover some selectable markers in the form of ampicillin resistance and tetracycline resistance they are also available and additionally single site for different type of restriction endonucleases so all these traits they are highly desirable that are present in PBR322 so it can be used as a cloning vector and later on after transformation the recombinants can be screened on the basis of ampicillin or tetracycline resistance how oh. so this diagram it indicates the use of PBR322 in cloning so here we have number of plasmids that is PBR322 that contain ampicillin resistance gene or tetracycline resistance gene suppose we have cut or digested this plasmid or even the foreign DNA with restriction enzyme that is PST1 and this PST1 site it is present within ampicillin resistance gene so both the foreign DNA and the plasmid DNA they have been digested and later on they will be ligated when DNA will ligate within the region of ampicillin resistance gene so its function will become inactivated so that cell will become sensitive to ampicillin but still resistance to tetracycline in the next stage the recombinant molecules or plasmids that are produced they are introduced by the process of transformation into the E. coli cells so that our host organism will contain the plasmids that may contain foreign DNA or may be recircularized that we will screen in the subsequent step so plasmids either with foreign DNA or without the target DNA they are inserted after transformation into E. coli cells all the cells they uh, will be grown on a medium that is supplemented with tetracycline as a selectable marker 
because mp slim gene it is inactivated by the insertion of the foreign dna so that cell will become sensitive to ampicillin so that's why in first step all the transformants as they are resistance to tetracycline they will be grown on tetracycline supplemented medium and at this stage there are chances that the plasmid it may be recircularized or it may have insert a foreign dna because in either case the transformants are resistance to tetracycline because its function it is not inactivated then how we will know that our gene of interest is present in the subsequent step the transformants they are plated on two media one that is supplemented with tetracycline that will act as a control and other that contain ampicillin as well as tetracycline so all the cells they will grow on tetracycline medium and on the other hand the medium that is supplemented with ampicillin plus tetracycline so only those transformants that contain the foreign dna they will be sensitive to ampicillin and but tetracycline pressure it is also there so they will only grow here so only those microbes that contain foreign dna they will be able to survive on tetracycline medium in the presence of mp slain so this is the strategy by which we can select our transformants by using pbr322 as a cloning vector